Hello friends, welcome to my new video. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss with you all about uh, tonometry. Let's start. So in the beginning of this presentation, there is a question that what is tonometry? So tonometry is the procedure to measure the pressure inside our eye, which is called as intraocular pressure. So this measurement can help uh, the doctor or the examiner to determine whether or not you may be at risk of glaucoma. So um, don't relate glaucoma with elevated IOP because there is uh, a kind of glaucoma which is known as normal tension glaucoma where the IOP level remain in normal range but they, uh, we can see the optic disc cupping and changes etc. But uh, uh, someone is having elevated IOP, uh, it's an indicating factor of having glaucoma. It can be closer angle or it can be open angle glaucoma. So what is IOP? Yes. So IOP, uh, it stands intraocular pressure. Okay. So the picture which I gave here, this is the IOP taken by applanation tonometry. Uh, so here we can see two myers um, which are formed when the probe is pre uh, pressing the cornea. So that I will discuss in the later slides. So uh, let us discuss about the types of tonometry. So tonometry basically two types, uh, direct method and indirect method. So direct method is known as manometry, which is not in use nowadays. And indirect method, there is two methods, that is indentation and applanation. And now indentation tonometer um, or indentation tonometry is done by Shios tonometer, which is also not in use nowadays. And maximum hospital and clinics use applanation tonometers widely. But we will discuss uh, both indentation and applanation tonometry in this presentation. So uh, here uh, the applanation tonometry, applanation tonometry is two type contact method and non-contact method. So contact method here Goldman tonometer is there and Perkins tonometer is there. So we use Goldman tonometer uh, with the help of slit lamp. But Perkins tonometer is a handy tonometer that we can carry in uh, anywhere. So, uh, so suppose you are in a hospital and uh, the hospital is arranging a camp. So where you cannot uh, take the Goldman tonometer because it's not that much handy and you need slit lamp to uh, see the IOP. So at that time, Perkin tonometer comes to use. Okay, And in non-contact method, uh, there is an air pop tonometer is there uh, where the um, this tonometer principle is like that. Uh, it is based on the how much indent the air is uh, making on the cornea and that indentation and how much time there is a calculation to measure the intraocular pressure. So this is air puff tonometer which is also known as non-contact tonometer. Now let us move to indentation tonometry. So here uh, what is the principle? Is that principle is that force or um, weight will sink into a soft eye rather than into a hard eye. So here uh, um, this tonometer here shear tonometer is used and it measures the amount of indentation of the cornea produced by the known weight. So there is several types of weight uh, are there in that uh, shear tonometer uh, which are 5.5 gram, 7.5 gram, 10 gram, 15 gram. Okay, so this is shear tonometer. Uh, shear tonometer have different uh, uh, parts also like uh, uh, like I am showing you. Wait. So this thing is scale, this is needle, and uh, this is lever arm, this is plunger, uh, this is holder, this is barrel, and this is the foot plate. So this foot plate, so this foot plate will rest on the cornea, and a, a known weight will be put uh, on this uh, shear tonometer, and uh, uh, the needle, the, uh, this needle will move to this part okay this scale and uh, uh, how much uh, distance this needle is crossing depending on that the calculation is done so suppose you are placed you placed 5.5 gram in this shear tonometer uh, in, in in the cornea and you see that uh, the needle is not crossing four scale so at that time what you will do that you will uh, change the weight from 5.5 gram to uh, 7.5 gram and after that uh, if uh, you by using 7.5 gram uh, the uh, uh, needle crosses the uh, four marking in the scale then you will convert that uh, marking uh, in relation with that weight in the uh, chart given with this tonometer so this is how IOP is measured in uh, shear tonometer now this is the procedure uh, that you will measure the uh, IOP by using this uh, indentation tonometry procedure by using the shear uh, tonometer. Okay, so you are seeing here uh, the foot plate. Okay, 
so this is the foot plate this is the foot plate which is placed on the eye and you are seeing that uh, this needle is moving okay so how much it moves it indicate the IOP okay so this is how it is done so let's move to applanation tonometry so applanation tonometry this tonometry procedure is based on the principle that is imperfect principle it states that pressure pressure inside a thin wall sphere is equal to force necessary to uh, flatten its surface divided by the area of flattening where um, P stand for pressure inside that thin wall sphere and uh, F stand for force and A stand for area that how much area that probe is covering so this is the probe of uh, applanation tonometer so these are the parts of applanation tonometer here um, as uh, already there is a marking is uh, there that uh, prism holder you can see here by prism is putted where um, apex to base orientation is there in the prism so that we can see Myers because uh, this apex to base prism will uh, break this mire into two part so when you will see that uh, these two mires inner edges are touching together then you will note that uh, IOP so how you will do that so here you can see wait this uh, calibration or measuring drum okay sorry So this calibration or measuring drum so you need to rotate it so first of all uh, this is goldman abduration tonometer it is placed on the slit lamp okay so uh, you need to uh, switch on the cobalt blue filter and instill paracaine or any type of anesthetic local anesthetic on the ocular surface and after that uh, move the abduction uh, tonometer in front of the patient eye and uh, move the applanation tonometer towards the eye and when it uh, before it uh, touching the applanation tonometer uh, tip make sure that you instill fluorescent staining and after that you use cobalt blue filter so when this applanation tonometer probe touches the cornea then you will see that two um, semicircles myers appear okay so when you will rotate this measuring drum then this myers will separate from one another in opposite side okay in horizontal meridian so at that time you need to make sure that the inner um, that means the semicircle inner edges are touching together at that time you will mark that uh, IOP okay so uh, there is a marking that 1 1.5 to 2.5 like this so you need to multiply it by 10 to get the IOP okay that's all now let's move now, so uh, so this as uh, this is I am show uh, showing or I was telling you that the uh, two semicircles we are seeing and look there is inner edges are touching together so this is the correct position so it did position measure the IOP now this is parking tonometer so it is also based on the same invert fig principle so the main difference is that a Goldman abduction tonometer is a handy tonometer but parking tonometer uh, that Goldman tonometer is not handy it needs slit lamp to use but parking tonometer is a handy tonometer so here uh, I'm showing you that uh, so this part okay this part uh, will uh, touch the patient forehead uh, uh, and after that you need to uh, place this thing over the patient cornea and uh, here so here you see that there is illumination is there so from here the cobalt blue filter is uh, going on so to uh, perform to perform this tonometer um, you need to use the fluorescent staining also because it is also based on uh, invert fig principle and it is uh, working is same like a goldman applanation tonometer so let's move so this is air puff tonometer which is also known as non-contact tonometer so here um, it determine the IOP by time required for a given force of air to flatten a given area of the cornea so this is the principle of air puff tonometer so this is tonopen this is a digital tonometer you just uh, instruct the patient to close his eyes and after that uh, put this tonometer head uh, so I'm taking about this this head over the patient tarsal um, uh, 
part that is closed eyelid and uh, it will automatically record the IOP okay so that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much